from the cup that holds your favorite morning coffee to the electricity you consume all night watching your favorite show on Netflix. Almost everything in the world is provided to us by nature. Although the earth has never run out of natural resources, that does not mean these resources are infinite. An exhaustion of these natural resources is actually one of the problems the world is trying to prevent today. Resource depletion happens when renewable and non-renewable resources are consumed at a rate that is faster than they can recover. Because of this fast consumption, natural resources may eventually be exhausted. The term resource depletion is usually associated with water usage, farming, fossil fuel consumption, fishing, and mining. The value of a resource depends on its availability and cost of its extraction. Therefore, the scarcer the resource, the more its value increases. The causes of resource depletion are Overpopulation The total global population is more than 7 billion people. Still, there is a consistent increase in the overall Earth populace and this has been a critical factor in accelerating the depletion of natural resources. An increase in the population expands the need of resources and conditions necessary to sustain it. In addition, it contributes to increased ecological contamination. Research further indicates that developing countries are using more and more resources to industrialize and support their ever-increasing population. Hence, the depletion of natural resources will continue as long as the world population increases. Overconsumption is a related cost for the depletion of resources. Since everyone seems to have to follow the newest trends, all their things are still working are often just dumped into the garbage instead of using them. Thus, this behavior also leads to an increased amount of resources which in turn can lead to resource depletion. Mining is an another significant cause of resource depletion. Since in our modern technology-driven world, we need huge amounts of metals and other resources. These resources have to be structured out of the earth. Mining is an effective way to do that. However, excessive mining behavior leads to an excessive resource destruction and can also harm the local environmental system. By destroying the forest, human activities are putting entire ecosystems in danger, creating natural imbalances and putting life at threat. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, the expansion of agriculture caused nearly 80% of global deforestation, with the construction of infrastructures such as roads or dams, together with the mining activities and urbanization making up the remaining cause of deforestation. Overfishing can change the size of fish remaining, as well as how they reproduce and the speed at which they mature. When too many fish are taken out of the ocean, it can create an imbalance that erodes the food web and lead to the loss of other important marine life, including vulnerable species like sea turtles and corals. Pollution Since the industrialization period, Pollution level significantly increased. This is due to the fact that we all strive for higher living standards, which also includes an increase in material consumption in order to be able to reproduce the amount of things necessary to meet the demand industry have to produce large quantity at scale. Technological and Industrial Development Technological development may either save resources or contribute to the resource depletion, depending on our intentions. If we use technological development for the sole purpose to increase our consumption and comfort levels, change are that we will further deplete our natural resources to a significant degree. How can we help in slowing down resource depletion? There are many ways to help, and here are some of them. Reduction in consumption 
Change your consumption in a significant way by making use of your old stuff rather than throwing them away and replacing them with new and trendy ones. Save electricity. We can help save our resources by simply turning off the lights but not in use. Avoid plastic and reduce waste. One simple example is to use echo bags rather than single-use plastics or single-use paper packaging for your groceries. Recycle and reuse. We can all contribute to mitigating resource depletion through the recycling and reuse of old things. This could mean giving away stuff you no longer use to your family or friends. Moreover, it is important to separate your waste to be able to recycle it efficiently in later processes. Use food efficiently. We must make sure that the food we buy must all be consumed. Do not waste food. Education. This education should start quite early. When we teach school kids about the adverse consequences of natural resource depletion, they are likely to pay attention to this issue also when they become adults. Moreover, they may also convince their parents to pay more attention to this problem. The depletion of natural resources is a big problem. It has several adverse effects on humanity as well as on the whole environmental system. There are many measures that can help to prevent resource depletion. Many of them can be applied by every one of us in our daily lives. Together, we can fight resource depletion in an efficient manner if we are willing to contribute our part.